Oh, Joey Joe Jr. Uh, Joey Joe Jr. Do you get much fan mail? What's the weirdest thing you ever received? Oh, okay. Well, um, I used to get more male fan mail, but now I just... I mean, the way I operate is like, uh, I'm on Twitter, like you can Twitter at me and you can say anything to me, which I think is really cool. Sometimes I can't keep up with it all, but uh, at the end of the day, like there's just kind of a direct conduit between me and whoever likes my stuff, which is something I enjoy. It gets overwhelming sometimes, but um, I just really enjoy that because people, uh, it's, it's less of a removal, like you don't tend to like romanticize what people do as much. It's really, uh, people can see that what what I do every day is work. It's literally my job and I don't necessarily, I don't go out, so I'm, I'm usually working. <laughs> um, so when I, the, my, my most exciting encounter with people are at conventions because that's where I really like doing them. We'll have a booth or I'll be a guest somewhere and people will come up and, and not only tell stories about how they discover my show or uh, most gratifyingly if they say, hey, because of what you do, I've started painting again or I'm writing again. and. Honestly, I don't mean to be cheesy, but that really means a lot to me. That means that, you know, it's not just about me, which makes me, um, you know, feel like I'm, I'm giving back to people because I was in a place where I did, wasn't doing what I liked, and I discovered uh, how, how to do something and channel all that frustration into art, and if, you know, I'm helping other people, that's awesome. But, uh, so, so people do give me stuff at conventions. Um, most recently, the weirdest thing I got was uh, a fan gave me a cat bed made out of a computer monitor, and I couldn't bring it, but uh, it was, it's hand-painted, and uh, he like hand-sewed the bed for my cat, because I was talking about my cats at a convention, which was, you know, it's large, but it's, you know, it's beautiful. It's a, it's a creative expression. I did bring a couple things, though. Um, I guess the weirdest... Uh, I guess the weirdest stuff is people giving you stuff that looks like you, um, let's see. Yeah, so I have a couple of things that, that people actually gave me at conventions. And I guess the weirdest thing is when I look like. They give you something that you look like. So here's, here's a felt version of myself. Which really, I don't know why I really like this. I just, I feel like, I don't know how I would make this. Um, I mean, my cats and dogs shed a lot. So uh, maybe I could one day form what they shed every day into something like this. But this is really... I don't know if you can see that. It's very well. And, and the coolest thing about this is that the woman gave me a ninja with it. So I'm like, I don't understand how these go together. But this, I like the idea that it's just me and a ninja. I kind of want to do a web series about me and my ninja. So that would be one thing. And then I got this awesome set of uh, Legos that somebody made for Dr. Horrible. So this is not just, you know, one set. This is like everybody. So here's uh, Captain Hammer. He's got his pompadour on. It's a, and this is all hand painted, by the way. Uh, here's moist. So uh, that looks just like Simon kind of. He's even got like a New Jersey State T-shirt on. All right, and then um, then we have Doctor Horrible. And he's got a he's got a clipboard. And this is this is paper that so was made out of here. And it just just look like Neil. And and then the glasses even. I mean, I think that's awesome. And then here's me. Um, and, and what I appreciate about, about this especially is that they gave me a waistline. So uh, whoever made this, like, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the person. They, they, really, people should sign these things. Um, they, they put, like, this graphic on it and gave me a waist. And I appreciate it because I don't want to be blocky. And uh, the, the hair goes in the back. And I just, I, I just think it's so awesome. So I have, these, I have these propped up next to all the awards I've gotten for the guild. Because I feel like this is just as cool as any award that some fancy person gives me. So, uh... Yeah, that's a really long answer to your question. Where is that ninja? Gosh. Mm.